Hello, my name is Erica, and I'm the Dyslexic Trekkie. Before I get started, I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers. Your interest really helps out, and Ensign Bradbury has agreed that for every hundred subscribers, he'll let you all hear one of his kitten's logs. Guys, I just fell down the best rabbit hole, and I'm all for it. I know I get kind of dry on this channel. Even when I try to be fun, it gets serious. So when picking a short topic, what do I pick? Death. I know. But this has been the best in the weirdest way. The term redshirt became synonymous with somebody who was about to die. They're generally extras that were not intended to be seen again. A fan in a Star Trek group stated that the majority of deaths to extras were actually medical and science officers, but the term persists. It's a fact of human nature that we want to find patterns, even if there isn't really one there. We also notice red more easily than blue on average. We say someone got red-shirted, not blue-shirted. So who was the first random character to die? That's actually a complicated question. In airtime, that would be medical officer Darnell in the first episode to air, Mantrap. But that's not the official pilot. No, that's where no man has gone before. And before you say it, there were no deaths in the cage. I looked. The first deaths weren't even on screen. They're mentioned, but not seen. There were two people hit by a surge, but they lived. I guess the times were a bit squeamish about on-screen deaths in a pilot. At least at first. Gary has to die to save the ship on the way to becoming a god. So who would be the first redshirt? Well, if you count the first pilot in order of production, that would be Gary. It's hard to tell the difference between some of the uniforms in the pilot, as engineering and command look similar in color. Engineering and ops are tan, soon to be red, but it didn't air first. No, it was a third in line of airtime. Crewman Darnell isn't the first dying man trap. It was a fifth to be recorded. I had no idea how complicated this would become. Silami just thought I'd watch the first episode and see who died. Nevertheless, he's in blue. Yep, the first red shirt is in blue. Glad I didn't try to make this a short. So then, who's the first red shirt to die? And I mean the first one to wear a shirt that was red. Am I nitpicking here? Likely, but I'm four episodes in. Why stop now? In Charlie X, this guy, Sam, is disappeared. I'm not exaggerating either. By disappeared, I mean poof. He's gone. Does this count? Well, he's wearing red, but there's more. Is he a red shirt? I don't know. He's just a guy working out. But I'm guessing he came back when the Andarians returned the other crew. But still no red shirt. Now, I'm on the fifth episode, and I'm starting to wonder if this is going to turn out to be some sort of myth. I'm now into the naked time and really starting to wonder. Joe dies, but he's in blue. Really, there's an argument for this saying to be blue shirt. I finally reached a point where I couldn't just keep watching episodes. So the first red shirt death who actually wore a red shirt was in What Are Little Girls Made Of? Thank you, Wikipedia. Yes, I know they're not generally a valid source, but I watched the first five. The first death is Lieutenant Matthews. It's off screen. He falls off a cliff, but he is in fact the first officer in a red shirt to die in the show. This took a lot more research than I expected, but I can't complain. They're all good episodes, and I had a real laugh during the naked time. A little too close to some nights at work. Now, I guess I need my bowl of ice cream. Captain Riley promised. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any thoughts, feelings, or ideas, please share in the comments below. If you notice any spelling or reading mistakes in this video, please comment within the first week of posting for the chance to choose a future topic. Again, my name is Erica, and I'm the Dyslexic Trekkie. The term red shirt became a synony synonym? Uh, when I was a kid, I couldn't say cinnamon. You have to stay up here. It is your duty as an officer. Speak. Good boy. This is very important ensign training. Yes. Yes, we have to learn to take commands like a good officer, right?